Okay, so in this video, we're going to have a look at restrictions on variables. What values of x and y um, can't they be? Because it just can't make sense. So we know that we can never divide by 0, because if we divide by 0, uh, we will get an error. Therefore, in question 1, x cannot equal to 0, because we cannot divide by 0. We know that, um, therefore, that this entire fraction cannot equal to zero. In order for it to equal to zero, the numerator has to be zero. Because when we do zero divided by anything, zero divided by five, for example, we give it zero. But if we have any number at the top, or if we have one at the top, any number other than zero, no matter what we tr divide it by, three or um, 567, whatever, it will never equal to zero. Therefore, this entire fraction cannot equal to zero, and therefore, y cannot equal to zero. Question B, exactly the same thing. Here we cannot divide by zero, therefore, x cannot equal to zero. Well, if this entire fraction cannot equal to zero because of that one there. It can only equal to zero if the numerator was zero. Then y cannot equal to zero plus two. Y cannot equal to zero plus two. Which means y cannot equal to two. Question C, same thing. We cannot divide by zero. Therefore, x cannot equal to zero. Well, if this entire fraction cannot equal to zero, then y cannot equal to zero minus three, which is minus three. y will never ever equal to minus three. Last question. Remember, we cannot divide by zero, which means this denominator cannot be zero. Therefore, x cannot equal to seven, because if x was seven, then the denominator will become zero. Seven minus seven is zero, and that's not possible. So x cannot equal to seven, we also know that this entire fraction cannot equal to zero because the numerator is not zero. So the whole fraction can't be zero. Therefore, y cannot be zero plus five, which is five. And that's it for this video.